Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aditya. In this video, we are going to see an interesting concept where we will see how we can use no code with code. So we'll have a CMS, which is your, which will be using builder.io and that CMS will allow us to edit our pages with drag and drop and that will reflect in our Laravel website. So without any further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so suppose you're working in a team where you developed a website in Laravel or maybe uh, React, Next, Nuxt, Vue, in any technologies. And suppose in, in your team, there is a member who don't know how to code, but have a good design sense or it's from a marketing background. So if you have them to make changes in the website, it would be difficult for them. Either they need to learn coding or they need to just get back to you always. But to solve that problem, there is something known as headless CMS where you have a website backend organized or are by created or by managed using a contained management system, something like WordPress or somewhere, something else. Builder.io is one of the CMS which allows you to uh manage your web pages they have also other integrations with shopify and everything by the way guys before i be, before we proceed this video is no way sponsored by builder.io i just came across this tool yesterday and i thought okay it would be a good idea to make a video on it on integrating it with lara it is totally like i'm just making it out of curiosity so that being said let's begin with uh spaces so first you create a space so it depends on which plan you are there are various plans in this uh, for builder so i'm go i'll go with i'm currently on a free plan so i'll just start creating with one space i'll call it let's say laravel you can call it anything you like now inside that spaces you create pages and other things that you want to create for your website so we will first create a page so you as you could see you already got a page model you can also always add extra models and then all I have to do is just create, say new and then I need to create a page. So let's say this is my landing page or yeah, just landing page. And here I can change the URL. So I will just change it to the root URL, then create page. Now it gives you a template. So what I'm going to do is I'll just, I can either create, select a template or I can create it from blank. It's typically like literally drag and drop. And if you're having a react project, then you can also use your own react components inside this. So it's very cool actually. So let's say, uh, let's select a template to begin with. Okay. Let's say this template. So let me just quickly. Yeah. So now you could see, you can see this page. Now let's render this page on our Laravel website. So I have created a Laravel project. Uh, in the last video, which was for inertia SSR rendering, sorry, server side rendering with inertia and Laravel. So if you haven't seen that video, please do check that video as well. All right. So first thing, we just add a route here. So currently it says uh, something, something inertia controller. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll keep that controller, but I'm going to say builder page. Like I'll just change the name of the function. Now you, here you have two options. So builder supports out of the box integrations with Next, Nuxt, React, View, Angular. But when it comes to backend frameworks like Laravel or Django or other frameworks, you they, they have a feature of having REST APIs. I guess they also have for graph APIs. But today we'll just, <coughs> sorry, we'll see the REST API feature. So once this page is ready, you, so let's say, they, let's publish this page. Now, after this page is published, what I could do is I can just, uh, okay, we go to developer hub. Now we have either builder with next, builder with react. So suppose if I go to developers, then developer docs, here it is. So let's go with REST API. So they have the GraphQL API as well. So let's go with REST API. So let's close these two tabs. Now we can either init it like this, or we, as we are using REST API, so we may not need this. All we need is our API key and URL of that page. And you can get the URL from somewhere here. So this is one URL you could get. So let's test it out first. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, this page is ready. Now, let me open here and get my API key. And, oh, sorry, it's in the account. So you go to account and then this is the API key you should be looking for. So this is the API key, this is your site URL. So I'll get the API key from here and I'll add it in my environment variable. So I'll go here and I'm going to say builder API 
key and I'll just add it over here. Please do not copy this key because I'm going to delete the project after this video is done. So if you copy this, it may not work or it won't work actually. So after that's done, let's go to our controller and let's create a page a function here. So it will be public function and this would be a builder page because that's what that's what we are calling for our page in the request now here i'm and what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the api on the server side and send it as a content the html content that we will get on the client side this will help in seo aspect as well because this will be server side rendered but if you want it as a client side render then you can make an axios request from the front end or front end or from the blade file or from the view file or react file it depends so what I'm going to do is, so there is in Laravel, you can make um, API request using HTTP facade. So, so here, all you need to do is there must be a get request way. Yeah, this one. So you just make a get request. So we'll just copy this and we'll, I will show you the response, what response we get. So here, if I just paste it like this, import this facade. Okay, so let's make API request to this URL and let's now retype down the response. And if you see here, we are getting 200 response, then there are headers. We're not interested in headers, so we just need to now convert this to JSON. So let's see in the JSON, what do we get? So JSON, in the JSON, let's see what do we have. So we have these things, you have the data. You have the meta, you have the query, you have all other things. So let's see what we have inside the data. So inside the data, we have all the HTML and this HTML, we will be passing it to the front end and our front end will render this HTML for us. So let's go over here and we will say uh, $data or $HTML is response JSON. Inside that we have uh, what do we have inside that we have it's an array inside that data inside data we have HTML so data and then HTML and then what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna say return dollar HTML and there it is you could see like the page has been rendered so well now suppose if I want to make change I can simply make it from the drag and drop over here so all i have to do is go to the content then go to the landing page the page that we want to make change to now suppose i want to make change here so it says we make great things so i can change this to let's say we make let me write something for you guys subscribe <laughs> to my channel okay uh, no need of enter okay then I will just publish this and if I go back again over here and now refresh to pay refresh the page see the content subscribe to my channel so it's like real-time update and everything is so smooth so it helps a lot to bridge the gap of code and no code so yeah uh, like personally I haven't given a full try to this I will be honest with you guys but I have tested along with it and I feel like it's a good tool to use but of course, do let me know in the comment section, like if you have tried this before and if you haven't tried it, let me know uh, once you try it, what was your experience and how did you find it? So that's all in this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you feel this video is worth sharing, please do share it with your network. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.